Hi there, I'm Jordan Stillman here with BWB TV. This, today I'm joined by Vikalp Mohan, the CEO of Salonic Group, and Camille Evenu, scientist in cell line development of Salonic Group. So, first question is for you, Vikalp. Can you please tell us more about Salonic, its origin and biosolution portfolio? Excellent. First of all, Jordan, thanks for having us here. Uh, Coming to Salonic, Salonic is a global biosolution service provider with a very strong and clear focus on best-in-class technical platforms for process development and manufacturing of not only large complex biologics, but also advanced therapeutics, including cell and gene therapy. We have been catering almost for the last four decades. We have been catering to our biotech and pharma partners to bring to help them bring in their innovative therapeutics to the patients. We are headquarters in Basel, Switzerland, uh, and with a very strong, talented workforce of 300, or 300 more employees, which are spread across multiple sites in Europe. Okay, so what differentiates Celonic from other CDMOs? That's a great question again, Jordan. Uh, we are part of the industry where there are modalities changes, there are complexities in the portfolio of our biotech partners. So to answer the first question is, we have to trace back our origin to where we came from. Salonic origin traces back to two prominent universities in Germany, Max Planck Research Institute and Ulick Research Institute. And from there, when we sprang out, the, our first core competence was around industry leading cell expression systems, which comes with their own vectors, own transfection protocols, own workflows. That's where we started building our core portfolio offers. And slowly and slowly, we evolved our end-to-end -end services offer from tapering end of the discovery to the market supply from there. So one part we have to say, Salonic has a strong focus on research and development, and we continuously evolve our technical portfolio. That's, uh, if I just take it forward a bit, that's one part. And as you appreciate when the, our biotech partners are coming to engage with Salonic, there is a substantial years of R&D which has gone before that time. So at that time when they are looking for a partner, they are looking for someone which comes with a proven technical track record. And we're very proud to say, for almost last four decades, we have carefully cultivated a track record of delivering success to most of our biotech and pharma partners. So you recently announced investments in commercial manufacturing capabilities in cell and gene therapy. What can you share with us about that? Jordan, I'm pretty excited to share more development progress since we last came public on this on this news bite. Uh, we have gone ahead in, in 2018 to, to invest into our Heidelberg facility, an investment in tune of 55 million euros for a market supply ready capability. The site has six times 2,000 liter bioreactor plus one time uh, 1,000 liter perfusion bioreactor capabilities. Uh, I, I'm pretty proud to share, we finished our conceptual design, we finished our basic design, and we are on track to have a multi-product, multi-suite, multi-portfolio uh, 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 platform site, almost operational by August 2020. And just to add, I think the second part, uh, we, as we are technically investing into latest modalities of the future, we have been working intensely with the city of Basel. We went live with an investment of 50 million franc on our state of the art cell and gene capabilities as well as uh, biologics development uh, site, which will be operational in Basel in around a couple of years from now. Great, thank you so much. So Camille, this next question is for you. Can you talk with us about biospecifics and what experience Salonic has with those more complex molecules? Well, Jordan, Salonic has extensive experience with developing biospecifics, both for our CHO and human cell lines. We use a multi-pillar approach where we try to address cell line development very early on with multifunction assays. And then, towards later stages, we use orthogonal assays to determine clone selection. Meanwhile, our colleagues in downstream processing have tailored platform processes where they will use customized resins depending on the modalities of the product. So this last question is for you. As a CDMO, what future challenges and trends do you foresee and how do you position to address them? That's great. I think, Jordan, we have to continuously evolve. That's the part of the industry changing landscape. One, first of all, I'll say is how we are almost positioning ourselves is a global freedom to operate commercial model. What it means is 
when our partners are looking to engage with us on their development portfolio, Salonic has taken a stand which could be diametrically opposed to many of the peers in the industry. There are no royalties, there are no penalties, there are no milestone when our biotech partners engage with us because we understand their value inflection point. So that's one of the commercial sense in how we are trying to cater to our biotech partners. Secondly, it goes back, as I said, the Salonic DNA is more very R&D focused. We continuously evolve in a technical platform. As the modalities are changing to fusion proteins, bispecifics, and cell and gene therapy, Salonic will be continuously in investing and involving our portfolios and platforms of future. Uh, finally, if I say any future kind of offers has to be consciously intertwined with the sense of data and how data powerful could it help us in determining and helping our customer. Pharma industry has been trying to cut down time to the market based on the data uh, availability and also more precise tailored medicines. Salonic as our part in the value chain will, is working on turning on multiple data models, how we can use our rich data sets for last four decades to support our biotech partners make early decisions on manufacturability, time to market, or potential challenges in the development. So that's what our focus is. Thank you so much. And thanks to you both for joining us today. We really appreciate your time. It's a pleasure.